My name is Vanessa. I am an artist. I'm in a rock band called Goodnight Sunrise. And I also own a math and science tutoring studio called The Math Guru. So when I was in grade 11, I failed math twice. I totally fucking hated math. I was more of the artsy type. I wanted to marry Keanu Reeves and like be a rock star. Still do, he's still single. So if you're watching, hi. So I ended up like basically like failing out of school and my parents were like, that's really cool that you want to marry Keanu Reeves, but really you need to get an education. So they sent me to an alternative of school and I walked into math class my first day of math class and I said to my teacher you're gonna have a really hard time with me I'm not a math person and she just looked at me and she was like you're not a what and I was like I'm not a math person and she was like that's not a thing and that changed my entire life I got a 99 in math that year I totally changed my attitude I was like Finally at this school where there wasn't a division between like the creative types and the math types. So I started The Math Guru, which is this tutoring center, but it's not just like a boring tutoring center. It's like super chill vibe. It's like hipster coffee shop meets yoga studio, meets like your best friend's living room. So the whole idea is to get rid of the stereotype that there's such a thing as like a person, like a type of person who's good at math, right? It's that anyone can do math. And I started realizing like most adults have a math trauma. They have a math trauma that they are like carrying with them. Like at some point in their lives, they decided they could not do math. This idea that there is this something on this planet that they couldn't do has affected their whole lives. They have a lack of confidence. They think there are barriers. Like it's actually crazy, right? So I thought if I could remove that, if I could give people math therapy, if I could like therapize them for their math trauma, how much could that change their lives? With any trauma, it is about going back to the root cause and about unpacking it, but also it's so much about language. So I'll often find with someone, someone they'll be like, I'm not a math person. And I'll be like, what does that mean? And they'll be like, well, I'm just really bad with numbers. And I'll be like, but tell me more about what that means. Like, have you been in a situation where you absolutely couldn't do math? So then it'll always go the same way. When I was in grade seven, I was in Miss Smith's class and I just couldn't understand algebra and I never understood it. And like, it was so embarrassing. And like the guy next to me got these great marks and he didn't do anything. So you like, you just look at all the pieces. Like number one, what did you actually know about the guy sitting next to you? Do you know what he did at home? Second of all, did you, try as hard as you possibly could to understand that concept. Did you do homework? Did you go in for extra help? Did you find extra resources? Or did you not really get it and decide you're bad at it? And usually the answer is, well, yeah, I just didn't really get it and I did my homework and it still didn't work out. And you're like, but did you try as hard as you possibly could? I want everyone to feel capable of doing something and math is the way to empower them and pretty much everyone can get on board with the fact that yeah every human on the planet should feel like they have the chance to do whatever they want in their lives.